it will find me. Friday Girl Bar Crawl. We'll go to the second to last row there. Someone has to, before I do my intro, someone has to there. This is a magnificent example of how you can use action to serve the function of exposition. We see the girl going through her training, and I totally believe her as, as a martial artist, too. She's, I, I assume she really is a black belt. And then we see the tough guy in the alley beat up four guys, and okay, so we know he's a really dangerous person. So when the showdown comes, we don't need to know anything more about these two characters. Everything has been given to us without really any dialogue. We know yes. everything. We know this is going to be a, a very, very difficult and dangerous fight for her, and we're cheering for her to win. So that totally works on every level. Cool. Yeah, it's like it, like, it's, like you're, you nailed it with your saying. It's like there's no dialogue in this film. It's just basically someone someone in a voiceover, and it's almost like uh, like a video game in a sense. Like not to be down on video games, but like there's a, a situation where there's a setup of the antagonist, a setup of the, of the protagonist, and in the end they're going to fight to the end. They're going to fight to the death, and basically just like. Like it's like, it's, it, but it's in, it's in a same segment of a ten minute short film, which you never see films like this made in the short film genre, which is kind of cool. And showing how you can choreograph a fight and like that kind of like budget, I guess, and it kind of is effective. Yeah. Was there actually a Karate Girl one or no? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure if you basically, which we live in the, in the in the internet age, if you like the film, you can Google it, and I'm sure you can probably. He's googling it now, but I didn't. Uh, basically, you can probably see Karate Girl one, and that's sort of the that's sort of what the world that we live in, in a sense, right? So, and maybe there's a Karate Girl three. Who knows? But yeah, it's a, it's a classic. Um, it's a classic action movie with a female lead and who basically fights to death with this big Dave Batista looking guy in the end and basically she uh, she wins and then of course the next challenge, the next chapter begins with the new guys. Go ahead. I don't know, maybe I misunderstood this film. Once she was training in the that open space, we saw the fight. I thought it was in her mind, in her own imagination. Yeah. She's seeing this guy and how she's knocking him and the, the blood came out of her hand. And in the end, she ends up fighting with him. So I don't know, I thought it was all envisioning, not real. Well, the, you can, like, any athlete will tell you that before you do, before you, do, you step on the court, so to, so to speak, you visualize what you're gonna do already. So it's yeah. almost like she's visual, visualizing how she's gonna defeat this guy while she's training, yeah. sort of like a, kind of a rocky montage kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. That's sort of a, how I interpret it, but then, I don't know, that's how I interpret it. There's the, the, the themes of fighting your fears, I guess, from back <laughs> yeah. to back films. Yeah, like the, the theme of like conquering Over, your fears, challenging your fears, yeah.